Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of packing right now. I'm pretty overwhelmed. Um, I just finished writing my sister a card. Oh, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is actually my pick line. Yeah, so this is where they'll be like putting my IV, taking blood, because I'm going to get a lot of blood work and IV stuff done when I'm doing my transplant. So they put in this line and yeah. It's just kind of like a central line that goes like from here all the way to like the middle of my chest. And yeah, so I got that put in last week on Thursday with it. It's really annoying, kind of hard to sleep. My shoulder hurts because I have to elevate it a lot, but yeah. So here's a card I wrote for my sister. Are you kidding me? My battery's dying. Yeah, here's a card. Just put it in this envelope. Here's my to-do list of like shit I'm supposed to do and pack. This is like all the shit I don't have packed. Looks crazy in here. But I'm basically moving out for like three months. So I gotta pack like everything. And I have nothing actually like properly arranged. I just kind of threw everything in the suitcase. There's some stuff I have to like occupy my time when I'm in Calgary. It's like a coloring book my mom bought from the hospital. Covers with markers. Here's some of my stuff from Make-A-Wish Foundation. Inside here I just kind of put all my art supplies. But um, yeah, Make-A-Wish Foundation is working with me and my family. They've decided to follow me and see if they can grab my wish. Um, I like traveling and with Sickle Cell it's really hard to travel. Like you can, like I do a lot of traveling as some of you know, but little do you know I drag around an oxygen tank when I go and I can get really sick from just the really high altitude and stuff like that. So when I'll be cured and back and better, then I can continue traveling. So one of my, I have like three wishes. They are to travel places and yeah, we'll see if they grant me my wish. So here's my sister's present. Just some hot pink Roshi's. Yeah, she, we were at the mall one day and she was like, oh my god, I want these so bad, mom. And my mom basically laughed because like she had just got a new phone and stuff. But I feel like she does know that I got them for her because she saw the package, but it was like, it was in the box. Like it looked like this. And she's like, oh, what's in? And I was like, I ain't telling you, which I screwed up. I shouldn't have said that. Because then I was like, oh, it's just new weave. And she's like, oh, okay, nice. So I feel like she knows I'm up to something, but I don't know. Why are you so close to me? Get away from me. <laughs> Shadow <Shout out> FOMO. <laughs> Kyle Reddy. <laughs> Aww. We're going to miss you. Oh, you're going to be back. Aw, Kyle. I'm too real. I'm really sad you're leaving, but I'll see you soon. What are you talking about with you? Cheer. All right, here we are. How do you feel, FOMO? I'm fine, Val. Are you nervous? No. Are you going to miss everyone at work? Yeah. What are you most excited about? Get it over with, and I'm more excited to come back. And, like, just to be normal again. And what are you most nervous about? Nothing. I can't put a finger on it. I just want to start this freaking process already. Look, in my shot, you ain't even in the shot. Sheesh! <laughs> gas me up, gas me up, gas me up. <laughs> Take the picture! It's not a picture. It's a vlog. Oh, this you're making a vlog? Yes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Alright, Brubay. Do you have anything to say? I'm leaving now. Everything's gonna be okay for me. So I'll see you in three months, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll probably see me before. Mom's coming, you'll visit and stuff. Mm-hmm. Make sure I'll try to call you every day too. And yeah. Gang. Gang. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave now. We just got into my car. I'm gonna drive because I will be driving for a long time. So I said I'd just drive one last time before we get there. My mom in the car. My sister and my grandma. <laughs> Grandma and my sister went to the washroom. That's what happens when you travel with old people. I can't wait all the way till we get there. How you feeling? 
Okay. Well, you'd have to a little anxious. A little anxious? Yeah. Well, I know it's going to be well. Good attitude. <laughs> just got to Ronald McDonald house. We just got in our room. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> they left us this little package. Reload. Not in the morning. Not in the morning. Not in the morning. This was what's in the package. It's some mittens, headphones, a little stuffy, some socks. These things you get at like Shoppers Drug Mart with like a bunch of like toiletries and stuff. Makeup. It's like they already know me. Um, pencil crayons and like a coloring book and a scarf from H&M. So yeah, super cute. Hey guys. Um, I'm whispering because... People are taking naps. We had to be up really early this morning because my sister had an 8 a.m. appointment and mine was at 9. Went to the hospital, did our last kind of physical checkups, whatever. Talked to the doctors. They took some blood. I got my hospital band because I'll be coming in for admission tomorrow. Looks like I'm going to be there for like three weeks. Well, some people are good to go home at like one week, but... They're doing some construction across the street from Ronald McDonald House. They're saying that if I come out, like if I'm to walk home, because literally Ronald McDonald House is like across the street from the hospital I'll be at. So they're saying that if I have to walk home or even just like getting there, there's too much dust in the air from the ground. It's not good for me with a suppressed immune system. So they're like, yeah, we're thinking of keeping you till your immune system is a lot stronger before you can head on back. Take it one step at a time. I took some blood from my pick line. I've been freaking out because I feel like there's something wrong, but I guess it's kind of just like, it's something foreign, right? So that's why I'm not used to it. My mom thinks it's like anxiety because I keep feeling something in my chest and I thought I was going crazy or whatever. Maybe I am, but they said I'm completely fine. It flushed well, it gave black gave back blood well probably just some anxiety some nervousness but so this is my dosette where they have been arranging my pills for the past couple years i used to not have as many pills so it would just be in the bottle and i would pop them in the morning and evening but when i started hydroxy it kind of got a lot to handle so they we bought this thing so this is what I take in the morning. The hydroxy is the pink one right here, the pink and blue. And then this is my penicillin, folic acid, and vitamin D. These are my penicillin pills because I'm supposed to take it twice daily. So one in the AM and one in the PM. So I've got some very exciting news. I will no longer be taking hydroxyurea. I'm pretty happy about that because it sucks having to take all these pills every day. I've been taking the medication since I moved to Edmonton because in Toronto, like when I lived in Ontario, they never really recommended it for me. They said I wasn't in the criteria, but as soon as I moved here, they're like, nope, you're starting this medication. Hydroxy kind of changed my life, to be honest, because before, when I lived in Ontario, I wasn't on the medication, and I would go to the hospital like three to four times a year and then as soon as i started it my crises went down from three to four to about one to zero times a year which is amazing and there are a lot of side effects for the this medication and for those on who have sickle cell and thinking of going on hydroxy i recommend it but you should really think about it and pray about it because there are so many side effects but i was lucky enough to honestly i don't think I actually like had any of the side effects affect me the only one I can think of is that the color of my nails got darker but then I don't know with time and stuff it kind of just went away but you should also be pretty consistent when taking this medication because it's kind of like your life like it's what keeps you and I'm not gonna lie and be like oh I I was so consistent with taking my hydroxy because I really wasn't and but and like I get sick sometimes and I knew it was because I should have been a lot more consistent I don't know and you think I'd be more consistent with taking medication because I have been taking pills all my life hydroxyurea is a pretty good drug and it really helps people sickle cell it's something I also want to clear up 
Hydroxyurea is also a form of chemotherapy because when you think about it, chemo means chemical and therapy, I'm pretty sure it means treatment. So it's just kind of like a chemical treatment. So this is a really low, 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 low type of chemotherapy. What I'll be undergoing the next week is kind of similar. Another low form of chemotherapy, it really helps. Cause like the thing is, chemotherapy, medications and treatments, they help a lot with sickle cell patients at a low dosage. So this is another cancer medication because they use it in with cancer patients, but I'm taking like a baby dose in comparison to what they would be taking. A moment I thought that would never come. Scoot, scoot. Ay, ay, ay. Scoot, scoot. Got no one in a bit. Ay, ay. So my mom is just wrapping my arm. I figured that some of you guys might be interested to know how I shower with this pick line. Basically, we just get some saran wrap. She wraps me up like a piece of corn. And then, yeah, ouch. See, this is the, the perks of having a nurse mom when you have sickle cell. I was so lucky. And then after she wraps it up like corn, then she has to tape the edges. She uses the surgical tape only because it doesn't touch my skin. If not, I'm pretty allergic, ouch, ouch. This place is really tender, like right here. It just prevents, like, when you wrap, like, tape right here, then the water can't get in. Oh, I should have bent my arm, but this is pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to, like, shower and move my arm, but this is pretty good. The reason why she wrap, we wrap it up when I shower, because even though it's all taped up and stuff, there's still, like, little ways water can go into the line, and if water ends up going in, it can spread infection and stuff like that, and that would really suck. Here at Ronald McDonald, they're doing this under the stars dinner. It's like a three course meal. They have music playing. It's just super cute. like a three course meal type thing. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Those meatballs over there taste great and delicious. And my mom. I'm not saying 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 I'm not well, this time so this is the first course meal. Know, it's like a lot of different types of tomatoes and yeah. I think balsamic which is good because that's the food I like. That's the dressing I like and stuff. I do not like white wine but to really give the red one a taste too. So this is the second course meal. It's like chicken, potatoes, mushrooms, and bacon I think and mom just threw some bread on there and ruined my shot <laughs> okay guys so we're back again yeah. this time I'm trying some dessert wine call it Moscato everyone says I'm like this one because you know it's sweet dessert time and this Moscato tastes lit so bless up how pretty is this food? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Parents are little ones. <laughs> I am leaving Ronald McDonald House right now. Going to get admitted into the hospital. I look like a refugee. Like, look at all of my stuff. I got a backpack on. Look at my slippers that Ronald McDonald House gave to me. Aren't they cute? Got my mom's here. This is like the front patio or whatever the door of the Ronald McDonald's house. That's the hospital, like literally across the street. Right there. There's the hospital. Isn't it cute? It's like, yeah, where you got to take control. This is my room, guys. Pretty big, like compared to hi mom. <laughs> compared to like every other room I've ever had, staying in the hospital. It's got like TV, even has like PlayStation and Wii, so that's pretty cool. The bathroom. It's smaller than what I'm used to in 
um, Stollery. It's the washroom. It's a tub. So I want to start my chemo for, this is my third shot. This is my nurse, I don't want to show her face, but she, she's got this little suit on. <laughs> And she also has like some glasses. Yeah, she has those glasses on so they come. It looks more serious than it is if you ask me. So now she's doing my yeah, blood pressure. Oh, that's off. <laughs> and then put the finger probe on. Basically they want to check my vitals. When I get my chemo, she stays here for 15 minutes after she gives the medication to me. And just to see if I react well. She takes my temperature, add my ice. This is to numb the place that she's gonna give it to. Cold there? Yeah. Do I count or just do it? Just do it. in a happy birthday bag. I'm blowing up the candles. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday. Mm. Cake team twerking. Don't clap. Like a bolt. <laughs> That's a thundercat. <laughs> oh, she bought me a whole bunch of fruits and stuff. Good, because the doctor said I need to eat fruits. Mm -hmm. well, what we got in here? Cantaloupe and honeydew. My mom's going to be so happy. You don't understand. Yes. She got me the good stuff. Pineapple. Ooh, ooh, kiwi. And I think the orange stuff is like some type of melon. Yeah, I'll see. Mm -hmm. And bananas, too. I was looking for bananas. Now I got something to eat my rice and Your steal Your bed with. is weird. No, I like slept basically the whole day. Lazy. And then they were making me. Lazy. Like three hours. Hashtag they sleep. Then they gave me this questionnaire to rate the meal service here. What's what? Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> poor, 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 poor. What do you eat? Look. <laughs> so here's the poor nigga meal they gave me today. <laughs> On the menu, it says broccoli, chicken parmesan, gravy, and some sort of pasta that mm. I can't pronounce. That tea. And they put this nasty gravy that tastes like coffee. Okay, Lynn, what do you have to say? Hello, people. For all y'all who are worried about FOMA, she's gonna be back better than ever. She's still a bad in LA. <laughs> For all you that know what I was supposed to say. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> Anyways, Thanks, no, Lynn. but for real, everyone just keep praying for FOMA because, yeah, she lit, she's strong. And yeah, don't be sad because I'm not sad. So you should be sad. That's good. Thanks, Lynn. Hey guys, so I decided to beat my face for no reason and just sit around in my room. But I did do an Instagram tutorial, so if you guys like the look, I don't know if you can see it too well in this poor lighting. But if it's something you really like, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a tutorial on YouTube for it. But yeah. Ugh. My makeup could have been so much better if I wasn't so shaky from this chemotherapy. Like, can y'all see this? Like, even like the camera's probably shaking. That's to tell you. Just some clips from my Instagram tutorial. Go check this out. I just have a request.
today's video on how to apply false lashes because Dang. <laughs> Shout out to Yawa for that little fan Snapchat mail. That was cute. Make me feel all special. Okay, how to apply false lashes. I will try and do a tutorial on it. Honestly, the best way to learn how to put false lashes is just practice. Like, it took me a really long time. I'm still not perfect. It depends on the lashes you have, depends on the glue, like, but yes, I will definitely try and get something up for y'all. Day, I believe, negative, what day is it, mom? I think it's negative five. Yeah, day negative five, and I had my third chemo shot today. Fourth, okay, JK. Can't keep track of this. I had my fourth chemo shot. It was kind of painful, I guess. It's never fun if you ask me. Oh, you guys are gonna notice that there are like two days missing out of this vlog. It's because I lost like a whole bunch of camera footage on my iMovie, on my laptop. Like everything just disappeared. So super bummed out about that, but I hope you guys still like it. And um Thanks everybody for the support. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. I do this for you guys.